So the announcement is out. Season 5 is coming in less than a week. And we finally, finally have the information about this new package. So we've got Almazra, Shika, and Vondal. They're all under attack. Uh, battles are going to be going between the existing faction and a new threat called Connie. Both sides will be fighting with everything they've got, calling in kill streaks in what is known as active combat zones. In these zones, you can get higher quality supplies and gear compared to a single faction zones. Almazra, uh, in Almazra, I should say, Connie found Koshe Complex. Uh, they've completely gutted it and found some additional hidden tunnels under the city. The uh, Building 21 has also been taken over by Connie. The Shadow Company, they're the, uh, the dominant faction now. Uh, they won't shoot you in any DMZ exclusion zones. Apparently will fight arm in arm with you uh, unless you shoot them first. Then they go a bit feral. Uh, don't forget, there's also going to be some new vehicles for Warzone slash DMZ. There's the Mine Resistant Ambush Protected, uh, MRAP, MRAP. Uh, it's the same size as the cargo truck. Uh, it's equipped for heavy combat. It's got extra armor plating and turrets. Uh, it's a slower but a more effective vehicle uh, for attacking or defense. Uh, so Infinity Ward says the MRAP will not appear very often. There's also going to be the Dirt Bike. Similar to uh, ATV in speeds, uh, it's going to be a lot more maneuverable. Uh, it says the uh, Dirt Bike is ready to lose enemies through tight alleys, perform hairpin turns on a dime, and get across any map without much cover or pl uh, but plenty of style. Um, it also goes further on to say, and yes, you can catch sick air and pop wheelies on this whenever the operation calls for it. Of course, there's going to be new missions, uh, including urgent missions uh, available in the forward operating base menu, uh, as well as uh, other things like uh, the disguise field upgrade uh, that allows you to appear as a member of an AI faction until you blow your cover. Uh, there's uh, Battle Revive, uh, it gives uh, the adrenaline rush as you uh, complete a self-revive. Very similar to uh, a Battle Rage crossed with a self-revive. There's the self-revive box, uh, much like an armor box or a muni box. Uh, this one holds multiple self-revive kits. The one I'm really excited about is the Scuba Gas Mask. It's a gas mask that also acts as a rebreather. Of course, there's going to be some new guns as well as a new battle pass. Uh, there's the FR Avancer. It's an assault rifle. Uh, it will be available at launch uh, through the battle pass. It's a fast fire rate, uh, very maneuverable bullpup rifle uh, for mid-range targets. There's the Carrick .300 sniper rifle a semi-automatic bullpup sniper with a high fire rate, uh, with great handling and stability, especially when on the move, according to the website. There's the M13C. It's the .300 BLK counterpart to the M13B. It's a full auto, very versatile and hard hitting weapon. Perfect as a main weapon or as a sniper support. We've also got new operators coming. There's uh, Oz, there's Graves. Yes, he's back. He didn't die in the tank. There's Arthur, Mila, Myla, depends on how you want to pronounce that one. There's uh, Velikin. Uh, you might remember him from Building 21. He's apparently a new operator. Uh, and then, of course, there's Mace. Now, the only picture they've released of Mace is a silhouette, and it reminds me very much of the Heavy from Team Fortress 2. So that'll be interesting. They're also going to be operators uh, based around 50 years of hip-hop, apparently. Uh, we'll have operators such as Snoop Dogg and less popular ones like Nicki Minaj, uh, etc. Well, there you have it. That's a bit of a breakdown uh, specifically tailored to well, my tastes, but uh, Warzone and DMZ about what's coming up in Season 5. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Uh, leave me a message down in the comments. I dare say we'll see what's coming up in just less than a week. 
it's shaping up to be uh, at least better than uh, Season 4 Reloaded. Hopefully we get a bit more performance back and they don't break too much. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for letting me just uh, chat your ear off. Uh, if you like the video, give us a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Every like and subscription actually helps out my channel a lot. Gets me in front of more people. And yeah, leave a comment below Think uh, of uh, what you think about what uh, Season 5 is going to be like. Cheers.